I'm Jonathan Kincaid. I'm a fixed wing pilot here at Life Flight of Maine, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the uh, anti-icing and de-icing equipment that allows this aircraft to operate in all types of winter weather. Right up front, we have the de-ice boots on the wing. This is a black rubber inflatable boot, and its purpose is to expand when ice has accumulated and break off those ice particles protecting the wing. And the reason why this is only located on the leading edge of the wing is that's where the ice tends to accumulate in the majority of conditions. So I'll give you a little example of our wing shape. If you were to slice this wing with a cheese slicer, you would end up with a shape like this. This is an airfoil. And you can see the boot protected area right here. This is a clean version of our wing. So as impact ice strikes the front of this wing, it tends to accumulate in this area. And the reason this is a problem for the aircraft is that when the aircraft slows for landing approach and this airfoil tips with respect to the relative wind, that's the wind striking the wing, you can get airflow separation here. That's called an aerodynamic stall. So that's a bad thing. We prevent that by breaking off this ice. I'll give you a dirty example. This is the ice contaminated airfoil. You can see here that some uh, super cool droplets have hit the wing and they've accumulated into some knobby rough ice shape all along the leading edge. So again, if you imagine this airfoil slowing down and tipping upward with respect to the relative wind, what's gonna happen to the airflow right here? It's gonna separate, it's gonna burble. That's an aerodynamic stall. We need to prevent that. So that's why we have the boots. Here we have relatively smooth airflow over the top of the wing due to a boot protected wing. You can see the boot protected area. By contrast, we have disturbed rough airflow here. It is separating from the wing because of the ice buildup. We need to break this ice away to restore the smooth airflow so that we can create lift again. So having an aircraft like the King Air that is certified for flight into known icing conditions allows this organization to function all throughout the winter, even when icing conditions exist. Going to a place like Frenchville, Presque Isle, Caribou on a winter day with clouds in the sky, that's gonna be a King Air trip. Those are examples of trips that could only happen with the King Air.